there comes a point in time in every man's life where he has to ask himself a couple of questions like, who do I impact? Who am I? What do I leave behind? Did I make the right decision? What's a good guy's a life-changing experience where we allow room for growth to embrace our masculinity, reveal our vulnerability, and take accountability while getting the perspective of others as we continue to ask the question, what's a good guy? Premiering every Monday on all streaming platforms at 8 a.m. Time peace, he knows where I'll be at. I don't know where my energy's coming from today, but I haven't drank in a couple days, so I think I got my wits about me today. You already know what it is, motherfuckers. Your most favorite lover is always Donald Peasley. Alongside of LaShawn. Snuff great day. Shout out to OEF for liking, comment, subscribing. Doing everything I do every week. We do appreciate y'all. Facts. I'm on 10 right now, but um, I'm here, you know. Make sure y'all are on what's a good guy.com. Absolutely. Make sure we get that traction on that website, man. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Absolutely. If you are on Facebook, if you are my aunt, my grandmother, share it to your um church friends. No, don't Sister do Winsley would like to listen to this. <laughs> um don't do that. <laughs> um tell them to listen to Bishop's episode. Um send them to the uh send this podcast to the youth ministry, please. Yes, do that. Oh well, it's, well not even that. <laughs> <laughs> not even that. <laughs> okay, but uh, I'm gonna go first. I'm feeling. I'm feeling good, man. I'm feeling rejuvenated. I'm having drank in a couple of days. Um, you know, three days ago. Yeah, it's a couple of days. <laughs> <laughs> I'm feeling great. Um, I'm alcoholic. Bro. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not alcoholic. <laughs> An alcoholic would be going crazy right now. If bro. it was a three, you feeling grateful? Just a three day. I oh, mean, when's the last time you drank? Three days ago. So, so, I mean, you alcoholic <laughs> with me, dog. But prior to that, <laughs> ask me again. You drank before that too, though. When? I mean, you be having your wine in your calam- in, in, in calamari. In calamari? That's, that's, that's a diet. That's, 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 that's a what? That's a diet. <laughs> you see that? That's a lie. That's Ro- what alcoholics use. Lies. Excuses. Excuses. Ro- Ro- Rose and calamari has high lost weight. Man, whatever, man. But I'm feeling great, man. You know, a lot of great stuff on the way. Um, a lot of content. Um, you know, like I said, like I always tweet, still I rise. What's going on with you, my brother? Nothing. Just here, running it back. Oh yeah, I, oh yeah. I forgot. That's another thing too. Yeah, we've done this episode already. This has been done. Um, so I'm gonna we're gonna try to change it up a bit, but yeah, I got I got some uh some new talking points. All right, so let's see how that goes. If I get in trouble, well, damn, so be it. I'll just buy some Venus flower traps, whatever the fuck that's just called, and um, let's get into it. Okay, so <laughs> what's we talking about today, my brother? Shout out to G behind the camera, by the way. Take two, take, take. That's and for this Twitter. We are. Uh, take those. Take those, right? Mm-hmm. Live from What's a Good Guy Studios, right? Mm-hmm. I think she put the thing there. But uh, what, ha- what happened now? So, post breakups, part two. Mm-hmm. In the initial. In the initial episode we talked about how people go through post breakups right <laughs> this episode this, my fault got you it's funny that this episode just got even funnier though oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see what you got, you got more okay okay I'm listening I, 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 facts I, I'm following you I'm following you um so listening to the first one mm-hmm. and and thinking like how can we do this over right mm-hmm. how'd you listen to I, that I've <laughs> I just triggered something. I'm listening now. I had a, I had a, uh, a, pers- a perspective of like. Thanks, I listen to myself. Do it to the do it in the court in the quarantine. <laughs> a lot of relationships did not survive. Mm-hmm. I think it was a true tester of communication, communication, patience, patience, and understanding, mm-hmm. right? And the will to really want to be with that person. Facts, because even even Jada Smith was saying. She's now she learned some things about Will she never knew, right? Mm-hmm. So you're married with, with to somebody for X amount of years, mm-hmm. and you're now realizing different things, right? And um, 
So a lot of a lot of relationships did not survive and they tumbled. And then you you then go through the post breakup, right? Mm-hmm. Now in my experience going through the post breakups, there are two ways that I that I operate depending on the woman. Mm-hmm. I could easily move on or I might need some time for myself. Mm-hmm. In both situations, once again, depending on the woman, mm-hmm. right? But nine times out of ten, I will opt to Sorry. take the time for myself. Now, history has shown that that may not be always true. But looking back at it, I could then say, you know what? It's better to take the time for myself, assess the situation, <laughs> see what I've learned. Because that, that is always the... the in my last couple of relationships, I've always mm-hmm. taken the time to realize all right, what you learned about yourself in this. Sometimes it's like, yo, you still got more healing to do. Sometimes it's like, yo, you shouldn't be so defensive. Sometimes it's like, yo, try harder, work harder. But I, I'm, not, I'm not a person who believe in crying and staying. Mm-hmm. But sometimes that may be the option to do. Now, with the whole going back and looking at yourself from the outside, looking in and... <clears throat> Just checking with yourself. Do you go back to that person? No. After the post breakup? Okay. So, so, so I'm saying because I'm, I'm saying, but so here's some, the, here's the thing about post breakups. Uh, I did see. I'm gonna. This is something that I'm gonna stop doing. I'm gonna bo- I'm gonna stop boasting about how prideful I am. That's not a quality trait to be bragging about, right? But I do. <laughs> That's what you're talking to. But I do know f- about myself well enough to know that I am a prideful person. How often do you say sorry? I ain't got nothing to do with my pride. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it comes to pride though. A lot of people. Don't. Uh, I feel like I'm wrong. You know what I'm nah, 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 not even that. It's not that I don't feel like I'm wrong. It's just that uh, it, it depends. It depends on what I'm saying sorry for, right? So, like in in the previous episodes, we talked about intentions. Mm-hmm. So, if I'm saying sorry just to make myself feel, feel good better. about or it, or make you feel just make, make feel me better. feel better, that might not do anything Rapper. for the person, right? So, me entering the person's life just to be like, "Yo, hey, uh, I know you're mad at me. You probably never want to hear from me, but I just want to say sorry." You mm-hmm. know that that that's not serving anybody but but me. You know what it, I'm saying. It, it's also a manipulative tactic. Yeah, and I'm not because a, a lot of people do use that just to get back in that door. That and I'm not a gaslighter neither. So, so I'm contrary sorry. to popular <laughs> belief, I don't gaslight anybody. I'm sorry for what I've put you through. Yeah, I'm I not, wish I wish I can go into this with the mindset I have now. Things would be different. <laughs> well, even, 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 manipulative. <laughs> <laughs> even 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 if that is true, which a lot of the times for me it is true. I just don't reveal that. Because I, I could easily say, yo, with the mindset that I have now, I can, I can, I can easily re-enter somebody's life mm-hmm. and be that person they expected me to be. But I don't want to come or See, with my, me and my post-breakups, I mm-hmm. handle it in a way where it's like, this is the bet I made. Mm-hmm. I chose to not enter back in this person's life or not work it out, so let me lay here. Now, what do you do when you see... Um do you end things on bad terms? All my things have ended on bad terms. So when you see when you see an ex in person in a in a in a small small area, what do you do? <laughs> Yo, everything's a joke to you guys, <laughs> and I don't like that about you. Like so a small me, in like an intimate setting. What do you, what do you do in that situation? Like preferably a backyard. <laughs> Let me tell you something. See, you're, you're gone too far. You're gone oh, far. Oh, honestly. Um, to keep it a stack with you, the way life has worked for me, I've never ran into my exes. Ever. You don't- and that's what some of the scariest things in life, right? Mm-hmm. So here's, here's how dope I think I am, right? Mm-hmm. So if a shorty puts me onto a spot, mm-hmm. like say she, she, she picks date night and she takes me to a spot, and I really love this spot, mm-hmm. out of loyalty to her, even though we're not together, I won't ever go back to that spot. <laughs> or 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 I will never take another woman to that spot. So for example, right? <laughs> I'm gonna tell you, sir. I'm gonna tell you. So for this. example, say Shorty puts me on to a pizza shop. That's your fire. And it's fire. I'm gonna go with my boys. I might go with my boys. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But I would never be like, yo, babe, with my new shorty, yo, babe, I know this fire pizza spot I'm gonna take you to. That I won't do. 
But <laughs> if I put you onto a spot, I'm still going back. I don't care who I'm with. I can take him off for all I care. This nigga is That's sick. my spot. Bro. So I have never ran into an act. Oh, I'm lying. <laughs> I'm li- yo wait, everybody wait. <laughs> everybody everybody's like yo bro you lied. <laughs> what Jamaica? <laughs> no, that's awkward as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Palooza last year at the Barclays Center. Yeah, that shit was rated, bro. <laughs> like three of my. Oh yeah, that was bad. Y'all was bad work in there. Shout out to shout out to Kojo for being in the stands so I could stay with him the entire night. But I I knew most of them was there. But like oh nasty works. I just thought about that nasty. Works. So yeah, but so. I yeah, so so uh, with that being said, if I ever see them, uh, I keep it. I keep it cute, you know. Hey, what's up? <laughs> you've you've been in one of situations, more than one situation, when I was there with an ex, bro. It was oh like, yeah, yeah, yeah. We was in the backyard. Facts. I'm chilling. I'm with my new lady, as as a matter of fact. Mm-hmm. And did I tell the other story on a previous episode? You're gonna tell it on the next story. On the next episode? Yeah. I know what you're oh, talking so I'm, about. I'm gonna leave that the, one. The alone. fight for me, huh? Why oh, didn't you okay, fight? yeah, and yeah, I told t- the whole story. Okay. Yeah, you told that story on the next episode. <laughs> so I've, I've, obviously we see her. Listen to the next episode, and, guys. <laughs> great story. <laughs> and I, um, and I tell my lady once she wants to, um, my ex walks in. I'm like, yo, that's my ex right there. Blah blah blah. That's what happened with her. Mm. And that's her man who was talking all that shit. Mm. And church as, mouse, huh? He was a church mouse. Who me? No him. Oh, I'm about to say, bro. <laughs> yeah, you bro, I kept my I kept my voice a little loud. <laughs> while niggas see if niggas, so niggas know I'm there. <laughs> and I'm sitting there, I'm like, yo, bro, I don't know if this is awkward for my girl. I'm asking, like, yo, this is awkward for you? She's like, nah, I don't give a fuck about that bitch. <laughs> like, being in situations like that make me feel cool. Like, so I, you and your you you you're in the spot, mm-hmm. right? And your new shorty's there. Mm-hmm. Right, mm-hmm. and your old shorty's there. Mm-hmm. You telling your new shorty, "Yo, my old shorty here." Yeah, why not? I don't want to. I don't want to leave her out of out of loop. I don't. I can't leave her out of loop because now she's doing things. She not knows what's going on around her. God mm. forbid the old shorty want to pop on her, bro. Now she getting you. It's, 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 yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. I'm saying okay, God okay, forbid. okay, okay. Like you don't want you don't want to have your girl out there just open, bro. Like I right. mm. new situation. example. Uh-huh. <clears throat> The event we went to, mm-hmm. I'm just not trying to say no names, mm-hmm. but the event we went to mm-hmm. where we got invited as media guests. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm talking about now? Mm-hmm. You sure? Mm-hmm. You sure you sure? Yeah. I bet. One of the homies mm-hmm. that were hosting that event was the was the ex to the new girl I was talking to at the time. Okay. Okay, I asked you a million times if you knew what I was talking about. Okay. So, in the midst of that, she was... Camera, I'm seeing the cameras catch you real quick. She, she, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah she, she was, um, she was, uh, affectionate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yo, LA thinks he's the coolest nigga walking. Bro. Nah, no, no. She's hot. That nigga said, yo, yeah. <laughs> she was she was affectionate, right? But in that moment, uh-huh. in that moment, I was like, yo, I didn't know if she was being affectionate to me because turn you into a poem, yeah. she generally missed me mm-hmm. or if she was being affectionate to get homie upset. Mm-hmm. Now, in that mind, I'm just off a of pure principle. Mm-hmm. Yo, this homie's a vet. I can't imagine uh, what's a good guy do a live show. And the ex pull up with another And she nigga. come mm-hmm. with that same dude. Turn it on. Yo, stop the show. <laughs> Yo, get the fuck out. <laughs> Yo, get the fuck out. Right now. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, old jokes aside. <laughs> like, Yo, screws, get the fuck out. <laughs> I don't think she would do such a thing. But, you, but, I don't put but in me. life, you can't put anything past, past anybody, right? So you played you. I thought you played that one extremely cool because I at the moment I didn't know what was going on. Fact. So you told me the after, and I'm like, yo, why LA keep pushing? Like she she probably wants some macro. LA keep pushing off. What the fuck is going on? Nah, I just because oh uh, just and the like, niggas right there. I'm like yo, yeah. After I thought about, it, I was like, oh, the niggas legit right there, like fucking three, four fucking feet away, bro. Yeah. So at that moment, you know, but honestly, she could honestly have just been wild affectionate. Mm-hmm. She could have moved on. She don't care. That's the wrong time though. But me, I just off of like pure like instinct, mm-hmm. I'm like, yo, this is not the time and the place for that. Like, granted, I, I care about you. I want I want to show you that same affection too. Mm-hmm. But 
this is somebody else's event that used to care really about you. Like, let's not do that. You have know what you, I'm saying? Have you ever had a um, post breakup with, with that resulted into your ex hitting a glow up? I know you don't watch them, but sooner or later you end up seeing them. Oh, uh, uh, damn, this is going to sound horrible. I think every woman I've dated, I had them in their prime. So that's no benefit to me. <laughs> I mean, the, 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 I'm not blaming their prime on me. Mm-hmm. I just met them in their prime value. It's the right time, right place. That's it. That's all, all I right. say. So you say they watched them. So you say they watched them. The first, the first woman I was He's with, ignoring me. She, she, she was, she was in her prime fruitfulness. Mm-hmm. Same thing with the second. Same thing with the third. So it's kind of like. Uh, I knew prior to to, to me, mm-hmm. they didn't look as good as they did, but and maybe a few of them after probably fell off a little. But I can't I can't say that. Uh, nah, that I, I I won't I won't jack that I won't jack that. But like, gl- glory to God. <laughs> like I asked you in the last episode, would you ever take any of them back? Well, the first time I mean, huh? Like I asked you the first time, <laughs> would you take any um, of them back? Would you do a redo? It de- it depends because the way like you uh, you, 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 you asked me mm-hmm. have have uh any of us have any of them ended on good terms, mm-hmm. right? I'll say one. No. I'll say oh, never mind. Never mind. in my attempts to end things, mm-hmm. I've tried to. Okay, get back? No, oh. try to end things on a peaceful note. On a peaceful note. I've how do you, I got you got when you're done? Let me, I want to know how you do it. Oh, I'll tell you right now. Mm-hmm. I would tell a woman mm-hmm. straight up, I'm not happy right now. I would then explain what I'm not happy about, mm-hmm. and I would then say why I don't think it's best for us to be together. Now, the women that I have dealt with in my past, mm-hmm. I wouldn't say they are stubborn. But they have a level of persistence that would want us to work it out while we're together. I can't live without you. No, no, no. I won't. I won't jack that. Maybe one or two said that. But uh, (laughs) (laughs) I, I won't. I won't. I won't jack that. But Mm -hmm. I will say is they feel like because the women I deal with, I don't know if it's a certain energy that I attract, but they are they fight hard. Like they fight really hard. That's why I feel like it'll be hard to get back with any of them because they felt like they fought so hard that they they know that it's their time to move on. So I will respect a woman in the sense to know that, yo, Shorty fought her hardest to keep me around. But I'm not stubborn enough to know that. And and to be honest with you, mm-hmm. I'll cold hard I'll cold heartedly push them away because I know that I'm no good for them. Because I try to be straight up and direct and be like, yo, listen, I'm not in the best space in my mm-hmm. life. Sometimes it has something to do with them. Sometimes they don't. But more times more times than not, they are willing to have me stay mm-hmm. so we could work it out together. Now, looking back, usually in the post-breakup mm-hmm. is when I realize, yo, I should have stuck it out. It's, it's crazy to hear you say that because when we first started and outside looking in, you were the good guy. To hear you say like, oh, I'm not good for you. That I don't, I I don't understand that though. I still okay. So when I say, now I understand what you're saying, but I don't understand it because of the simple fact that yo, I'm like yo, singer L. A. Like yo, Shorty really in love with my son. Like if I saw him moving, like he doing some dope shit, fly shit, and it's to hear you say like, oh, I wasn't, I wasn't good for her because at the um, at the the root of it, here's here's where I take the fall. Mm. Relationship obstacles I don't do well with. Um, elaborate. What you mean? Like, so, like a, uh, when the uh, going argument. gets tough, I get going. going. Oh, okay. And I've learned that about myself. And like I said, for every relationship, there's a different reason why I got going, right? But at the same time, there probably is a point in time when I've realized, <sighs> one, maybe I'm doing too much and they're not receiving this love well or they can't receive love well because they're... they're in my earlier stages, I would shower a woman with love 
and affection, but she does not take that in well. So after a while, when I pull back, mm. that's when she realized, oh, he stopped doing what she, he's doing, and then they want to get up to speed, mm. but by then I already clocked out. You see what I'm saying? It's kind of like, it's kind of like, in a sense, in, in, in layman's terms, they try to freeze us mm-hmm. to stay an extra hour when I already did my job. Mm-hmm. Oh, now, now the ship is sinking and you want, no, the, my, you, want my you want the employees to stay. But when I was here, yo, when I asked for lunch, you can't, nah, you when know I what wanted, I'm saying? When I wanted overtime. When, like, I wanted OT, when I wanted OT, no, you know what I'm saying? When mm-hmm. I wanted a, day, a PTO, no. But now when, when the going gets tough, and I'm I'm ready to clock out. It's like, yo, LaShawn, can you stay? Nah, I'm going home. Because you didn't appreciate my value when I was ready to work, when now, I you, cared about work, when I loved about work. Did you tell anybody that though? Oh, nah, nah. I'm done? very I'm listen. If a woman tells you I I I I strung them along, mm-hmm. they're lying. Cause I'm very, very, very straightforward. Mm-hmm. I got to work on my straightforwardness. Yeah, I got to be a little bit more... Yeah, let's, let's I got to be a little bit kinder and gentler. But sometimes, sometimes certain situations, you can't, you can't yeah, be but, that gentle but, and kind but, with, but a, let me tell with you a woman why, that don't want to hear that. But let me tell you why it bothers me the most. Because during my post-breakups, is mm-hmm. that's when I realized, yo, LaShawn, you could have did that a little bit softer. So like, if me, if me, like straight up, if a woman is overly aggressive, right... Mm-hmm. Like, 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 I've always been told it's not how you respond. I mean, it's not what a person says, how you respond. Mm-hmm. I look back at it and think like, yo, if I would have responded in this way mm-hmm. instead of that way. It could change the situation. No, I would have slept better at night. I sleep bad knowing that I hurt somebody that violated me. The hardest part about certain breakups is when you miss somebody who did you wrong. Mm-hmm. Damn. You know what I'm saying? And not in the sense of doing you wrong, like infidelity, mm-hmm. but like, yo, they spoke to me crazy. They got out of term. Mm-hmm. And it's like, damn, why do I miss this person? Even though I know they violated me. That's mm-hmm. another reason why I don't really go back because I give myself time to figure out, do I just miss this person's presence mm-hmm. or do I miss the ability to access them? Like, do I want to work it out or do I just miss the ability of the knowing, the fact knowing that if I call this person right now, they'll pick up. Or certain things in my life, like say a podcast episode goes to shits, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. There are certain people. To, there's certain. There was a certain woman that I called to just, you know, Vent. vent to, and she'll she'll give me positive words of affirmation mm-hmm. and boost me up, and I'll be like, I bet. But knowing that I don't have this woman mm-hmm. in my life anymore, that does not give me probable cause to reach out to her, because mm-hmm. then she could look at it like, <laughs> oh, you only want me because when shit is wrong. When well, shit is wrong. That's the same. She don't like that shit either. So. Right. Come so on, it's kind of like, I, I know I'm not that type of person to do that to somebody. And one of the hardest things that um, I realized in some of the post breakups that I've been in, there are times where sometimes I may have not moved on too fast, but by the time I get into a new situation, something about the old person would come up, mm-hmm. like emotionally or mentally, and I'm missing them. And it's weird being with somebody new. And missing your old significant other. That's why I thank the Lord I ain't feel like that. <coughs> that's a that's a div- that's a difficult thing to deal with. Like yo, you laying up with somebody, but you thinking about somebody else. Facts. I've, you- I've I've dealt with that. Fucking before I started dealing with my woman, like I'm like yo, bro, why the fuck do I miss this girl? This girl was a fucking. She was sick of her fucking head, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? I'm like yo, bro, like why? I guess I missed the memories. It was more the memories and. Just the way we acted with each other. And it was then, the and bond. The, and the new person I dealt with after that, it was like, yo, They bro, don't got it not. like that. Yup. That, that, shit, that shit is weird Man, as fuck. Oh, you mad bland, man. Because <laughs> like, you think about it this way, right? Mm-hmm. Shorty sure think it's all good and sweet. Mm-hmm. Deep down, you battling something mm-hmm. internally. Mm-hmm. She's like, well, what's wrong? Not nothing. I'm, nothing. Just, I'm tired. <laughs> I'm tired. Because <laughs> you, you, you think about it this way, right? Mm-hmm. How do you tell your new woman, I'm yo. I'm my old shorty. I'm th- my, I just miss her. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna front. That's that. Yo, know, that'd be the craziest conversation ever, bro. That's not. That's now, not. What if, what if you tell her and she's like, "Okay, I understand." That that. Yo, listen. Let that, me t- I feel like that's a myth, though. <laughs> so it sound good. It's a fucking myth. That's not possible, bro. Man, no matter fact, no, of fact, no, no. Uh-huh. I'm lying. I'm lying. I keep it a, a, a bean and a half. <laughs> I've had that conversation I'm once. Keep it two verses. I'm listening. I, mean, I had that conversation once. I was with 
The shorty I first started when I was working, I was, mm-hmm. right? That was my first relationship since the five-year joint, mm-hmm. right? And in the midst of that, I think as the times was passing, our anniversary was coming up and all of the memories that we've shared was coming up and I was just down and out about it, right? But I knew I was ready to move on. Like I knew I was willing to date again. Like I knew that chapter was closed, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, right? And she caught wind of like, yo, like I'm going through a depressing time. And she asked me, what's up? And I told her, y'all, I'm not going to lie to you. Like, you know, I was in a five-year stint and, you know, the wounds are still there. Like, I still feel it. I still, sometimes I miss it, blah, 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 right? You, 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 you wrote that? No, I told her that. That, was a, that, was a, that wasn't even a text conversation. That was a face-to-face conversation. Um, and to my surprise, so here's one, one or two things could have been possible. She could have told me that she understood and this, that, and the third and went home and been livid and was tight. But at that moment, she told me straight up that she understood. She gets it. And am I here? Do I want to talk it out? So I'm like, you want me to talk out? The pain and agony I'm feeling. You gave, you gave it to her? You told her? No. I just, I just let her know. I just let her know what was going on with why, me. Why didn't you vent it? That's just nothing, weird. Nothing would have changed. That too, and then it's like, yo, like, if I'm in a new situation, um, I don't, I don't think, I don't think I should be talking about the old because then I, the the regular woman that I would deal with, the average woman that I know that I probably attract now is gonna be like, well, go be with her then if you miss her, or maybe you should go there. Maybe that's where you need to be. You know, from Brownsville, though. No. <laughs> <laughs> why, is she, why is she talking to you like that for? Bro, women talk to me very aggressively, bro. I do not know why. But the minute I, I minute, minute I minute who, I poke who my is that? minute I poke my chest back out, it's yo, you're not supposed to talk to me like that. So so I just sometimes <sighs> I take it sometimes time, I man. don't, right? <laughs> but in 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 all actuality, it's it's a it's a weird feeling knowing that you're with somebody. Mm-hmm. And you choose to move on, right? But then when you realize, yo, I still got a thing for my ex, it's like, damn, what do you do? You know what I'm saying? You got, you literally, bro, did I start? I ain't hear the second beep. Is it recording? Uh, um, you literally got to sit there and you, you, you think about what happened. Mm-hmm. You know, how do you, how do you deal with, deal with uh, missing one person Right and 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 being with another, you can't do that. So that's why I that's think why you got you got That's why that's why I always commend you when you do that. When you sit down there, when you sit down, you don't talk to the wife for a minute. I'm like, yo, why the fuck, LA? Like LA said, he's a serial dater. I am, but it takes you a little while to be like, you know what? Now nah, I'm ready for somebody. This is the longest I've seen you with without dealing with. <coughs> so, with me, it was uh, I'm I'm dealing with this person for six months. Uh, six months is over. All right, next one, let's go. Mm. With me doing that, it became, I'm dealing with one person to find somebody that's like the other one, find little parts of her. Filling voids. Find a, yeah, I ain't gonna front. I thought about that shit last night, bro. I'm like, I'll be feeling mad voids. That shit is mad fucking disgusting. But that, That's what makes that's you, that's, that's, what, for another time. that's kind of what makes you miss your ex. Mm. Because it's like, yo, like, what is, what, what is the reason you're attracted to your new shorty? Mm. Is it because she reminds you of your old one? And if that's the case. That's bad. Yeah. That's She's bad. just a replacement. Imagine, my nigga, imagine you doing what you're doing with her and you call the wrong name. I, oh, yeah. Oh. This, this is about to be hella toxic. Well, you said that you did that on the phone. No, 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 no. That's not even what I'm talking about. This is about to be so toxic. Yeah. But it's just the question, audience. <laughs> oh, this is going to some bullshit. You ever slept with a woman thinking about your old joint? Yeah. <laughs> No, it's nobody though. Like you give her, you oh give, yeah, it's over. You give her the work that you yeah, want. Boys, they ain't no friend either. Just give them pleasure, yo, baby. Turn around. Yeah. <laughs> turn around. I close my eyes. I'm getting to work. <laughs> I'm getting to work, dog. Yo, I'm full, dude. 
Yo, they was the same skin and complexion. Boy, sure you turn. Yo, I, my girlfriend watching. She probably she be <laughs> her close friend. She be tight. Listen to this shit. Bro. I know y'all be seeing that shit. Oh shoot, bro! Told Shorty to turn around. I got to fucking work, bro. <laughs> and she, we stopped. She was like, Can "You missionary." Oh, but that shit, I go for it. That shit, that shit is so fucked up, bro. That a person could be having the time of their life at that moment. With you, thinking it's with you, yep. but mentally you're not even fucking you're there, not there, bro. Yep. That even is with scary. The, even with that is super scary. Even with the um young lady I dealt with that I say is crazy, but in retrospect, she's crazy. <laughs> there was a point where we went on a we went on a date. We're eating, like we're eating. I'm like, I'm I'm just not in the mood that day. I'm eating. She's talking to me. But, bro, I don't hear shit. Mm. Bro, I don't even taste the food, bro. I don't hear anything, bro. This is around the time you lost your job, though. Yeah. Yeah, that, that so could have been that could have been the trigger to it. And it's Because for clarification, because mutuals watch this, we don't want to allude that you had, you was thinking about another woman. Oh, no, no, no. Your no, no, mind no, no, was no, no, somewhere no, no, else. Your mind somewhere else. And I'm telling her, like, yo, in the, in the post, like, we weren't together together, but it was like a, I want to say situation because we were leading towards something, I guess. Y'all were. Yeah. And then I told her, like, yo, I, I can't do this anymore. Let's just, like, be friends. That the, yo. You- like, I, like, let's, like, I'm, I'm trying to, like, let's, we don't have to be friends, but, like, I'd rather be cordial with you. Like, I have no problem with you, bro. Like, Knowing her, she's not with that She shit. sat there. <laughs> 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 ha, ha, ha. <laughs> I told the story before, but yeah. I, I feel like, I don't know if it was on this, uh, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Went to my room. I was like, oh yeah, she's gonna shoot me. <laughs> I'm getting a shot today. All I heard was the front all I heard was front door. I said, God. Oh, she left? Yeah, I was like, fuck it, yeah, but he was in a situation like that. I I'm I'm so awkward in situations like that, bro. I wouldn't know what to say. Cause mm. most of my breakups, even back in the day, it was mostly text, bro. I had text or a phone call. Mm. Like, people like, oh, you pussy. Well, <laughs> call me Garfield. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to be face to face with you now. I got to deal with your reactions, the crying, the sobbing. It's like that's tough. That's I'm, tough. I'm a fucking simp, bro. When it comes to crying, bro. When that's, you start crying, that's tough. You got when you start crying, you start yeah, shedding sh- tears, bro. Shorty got be back. <laughs> yeah. Come here, baby. I, I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. I didn't <laughs> don't mean, cry in front of me. I didn't mean. It. I didn't mean. It. Don't cry. You want to get something to eat? I didn't mean. It. <laughs> you want to cry? I didn't mean. It. Like, I don't. I don't want to be that guy, bro. <laughs> You want a Chanel? I don't got you, babe. Like, I only got fifty dollars in my account, but I got you. You can have all of it. Yeah, that that that's tough. That's like, tough. I, I, when you say that, bro, I commend you, bro. Even being face to face and just yeah, venting tough. with that person, like, oh yeah, you know, I'm unhappy here. Blah blah blah. And yeah, but and I seen her and seen her reaction when you say that. See, here's the here's the thing, right? I gotta find a better way to say that. Like, no, no, there's no. I have there's to. There's no way because because like, yo, I don't, I, because a woman will think hair is with her, and sometimes I don't mean with her. Hair. When I say hair, it means the space that I'm in, and you're here with me. So when I'm going through things, mm-hmm. or 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 situations or hardships, I isolate myself. I do that with friends. I do that with significant others. I do that. I just don't. I I need my space to be alone mm-hmm. and figure it out. I am not used to having. Oh no, I'm lying. I am not used to mm-hmm. allowing somebody to be with me while I'm going through something. So I'm used to having people around, mm-hmm. people who want to be supportive, people mm-hmm. want that 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 want to be in my space mm-hmm. during my hard times. But I'm not used to allowing somebody to do that because yeah, it goes it goes back to um what you said um what we talked about yesterday. Giving person, giving the person parts. Yeah, I give, so. I give people. So when I when I'm into when I when I first meet somebody and I finally like let my guard down, whether it's uh, twenty seconds of speaking to them or two days of talking. I, I, like I literally remember there was one girl I started talking to and we literally spoke on the phone for like maybe forty eight hours straight. I'd rather clean up the. I'd rather clean the Bronx my tongue. <laughs> Look at sick. It's crazy, crazy enough. Like it's to the point where like, she was at work all day. I was at work all day. Her break. We charged our phones. It was crazy. It was super nuts. Super nuts. Never did that again. Forty eight hours. You're wild. 
showered on the phone, hold on, blah, blah, blah. All, all that good <laughs> I stuff. I thought he was in high school. <laughs> <laughs> the conversation was just crazy. That's, that's, that's dope, though. We right? didn't have a conversation for that one. So I, we let, I let my guard down. I let her in, blah, blah, blah. And I was open. But when going gets tough, I get going. And that's probably one of my, what? one of my toxic... Yo, what are some of your toxic traits? That's one of many. Now, not to put into... Um, not to go dig deep right there, but what made you get going at that moment? Was you just going through something or she said something that turned you off? Okay, so so here here is the the harsh reality of like why I take certain breaks. Mm-hmm. It takes me a while to let things go. Mm-hmm. Now, dealing with her, mm-hmm. my patience was already thin. Mm-hmm. Unfortunately, that it was not fair to her. So you think she's in she 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 could probably look at it as yo, this is a fresh start for me, new guy. Blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. I'm getting into it. This is a new woman, but this may not be a fresh start. And when I say a fresh start, I already have so many straws on my back Mm -hmm. that one thing, our first argument could be the straw that breaks my back. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And that's when I realized, yo, I'm in no position to be dating right now. I'm not, I didn't let everything go. You may think this is a regular argument, but to me, this is hell half no. This is one one done. Yeah, I I, I got I don't want to treat the reason why I haven't fully said I'm in a uh, uh, a relationship like a real relationship where I have a girlfriend and this that and the third is because I know my patience is so thin. Mm-hmm. I know that I haven't been comfortable enough to keep both feet in the door with anybody in an extremely long while. Hold on, you haven't been in a relationship for two years. If this gets back to anybody officially, where I say, "Yo, I do the whole, <laughs> well, I'll just, I mean, the whole superstar date," and then I ask a woman, "Yo, would you like to be my girlfriend?" Mm-hmm. I haven't done that in a while. Okay, but have I, I, I mean to put a number on it? So have I dated since mm-hmm. then? Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Have I have I thought that particular women were the one for me? Mm-hmm. Absolutely. But did I get to that moment? No. Um, if you get upset by what I said two years, I apologize. Sometimes I, it's been a long 2020. Uh, me and me and G just had an argument about when LeBron went to the Lakers. So <laughs> G said it was 2016. I didn't. I couldn't agree. It was 2017. It was 17. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Cause he I missed the front. That shit had me mad. He missed the first year. <laughs> but that's we didn't mean to um, get so, sidetracked. So, so yeah. Just, so um, with with that being said, and 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 uh, all those things that that occurred. Mm-hmm. My post breakups are usually a time where I just reflect mm-hmm. because I've been there, done that. I've been with the with the new girl, missing another girl. I've been the whole lonely and depressed. I've been, I've had my moments club. where I've. No, nah, I never did that. That's, I'm pretty sure I try to make you do that. Yeah, but I've I've never done that. I've never I've never uh, to the contrary belief, mm-hmm. I've never had a whole phase. Especially post breakup is kind of it's kind of like this close. it was kind of it, it was this close. Who you was this close? Oh 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 yeah yeah yeah. Oh, I thought you were saying you. No, oh, uh-huh. <laughs> watch your mouth, man. <laughs> I'm happily married. <clears throat> I was I was in a I was in a space where like I knew I knew I would just be doing it because peer pressure. Mm-hmm. And even in your post breakups, you you realize you're doing things that 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 are not necessarily you or not used to what people are seeing. For example, the the woman who goes through the post breakup and then she starts going out more and wearing less. Shout out to Drake. Yeah. You said shout out to Drake. Oh, you know, and and we <laughs> all sick. we all know the the post breakup woman rollout. You know what I'm saying? She's dancing on niggas. She's uh. She does a photo shoot. She, you, you really get to see the circumference of her ass. Now, we all these, where all these male friends come from. <laughs> yeah, all, yeah, all these male friends. Her friends are amping, amping her up. And yes, bitch. <laughs> the, the thing that that I, I, I realize about post breakups are the friendships that you think you have. Mm-hmm. They're not real. Like the, so the, like so the, the friends, your, your girlfriend's friends. Your so the people, friends. so the people who uh who loved y'all when y'all were together, the cutest couple, blah, 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 the lovebirds, things of that nature. People who say that, right? But then when y'all break up, 
you don't hear from them. Mm-hmm. Or or you know, if you if you when you speak to them, you feel like you doing too much yeah. talking to them, right? So that's why I don't um I don't blend both worlds. Like we've we've talked about the yeah, um, the, we talk about the friends like, that get a little too close. And even that, and even and that. I've legit lost I wouldn't say I lost a friend, but we don't communicate anymore. Mm. Because she legit like I I'm not mad at at that person. Like, yo, you picked your side. Go ahead, bro. No sweat off my back. Now with the I have a smaller amount of female friends. I don't even say pick sides, right? Because we have a we have a friend. Mm-hmm. We we know a couple that they they went through a breakup, mm-hmm. and the woman hit me up. I don't know if she hit you up, but she hit me up saying like, "Listen, I understand if you got to pick sides. First of all, I'm a grown ass man. Mm-hmm. I'm older than you. Don't call me <laughs> asking am I picking sides? You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Whatever friendship I have with you is what I have with you." Whatever friendship I have with him is what I have with him. Now, when y'all do the venting of each other's person, I'm not going to play favorites. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, Whoever's I'm a, wrong is wrong. You know, and I think if any of them ever have a conversation, they will express, yo, LaShawn told me you was wrong. Depending, I know LaShawn told me I was wrong. Depending on the situation, I would do that. But it, like I said, depending on the situation, I would opt out. Like, I'm, not, I'm not getting into that. Oh, I feel you. I I, 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 I can understand that. Because a person, like, say you're telling a person, oh, somebody, but, oh, LA said I was wrong. Like, per, a person will misconstrue your words, like, yo, oh, okay. Oh, for sure. Okay, nah. Oh, all right. Because right, I'm, so, I, I, means I'm right. That person's wrong. Okay. No, no, that for sure, because I, I am one of those people where, like, I don't tell my side unless I have to. Mm-hmm. So if, if, for example, uh, for example, say me and a woman is, 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 not together, mm-hmm. or we not dealing with each other. And you like, yo, how you and uh, Basil? And I'm like, nah, me and Basil's great. Knowing that I, I haven't spoken to her in like two or three weeks, right? Mm-hmm. But you and Basil are cool. Basil hit you up and tell you like, yo, LaShawn did this, LaShawn did that. You now going to look at me like I lied to you because I just told you that we're good. Mm-hmm. So now whatever you think she's about to tell you, you already formulated in your mind that I'm probably hiding it from you. Yeah. When in all actuality, I'm just not telling what I need to say, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. So then when I do have to then say anything and I pull receipts and I show this and that, that mm-hmm. it makes Basil look crazy. But it's like, yo, it's just best. This is why I don't mix worlds because it's like, yo, I'm not pinned out to make you look like a villain. Mm-hmm. That's another thing is too. That's why I can say that about both of us. We don't say too much to people. Nah, not at all. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't had a public relationship mm-hmm. in probably like... That set time, but by then I've already traveled with certain people that I was dating. I was already like, I've I've had my moments where I was deeply in love with a person or growing to love somebody. Shit, I have a, th- a thought about moving to another borough, mm-hmm. things of that nature. But I've never publicly posted that because in this society of where everything is on Front Street, mm-hmm. right, and you post everything and this, that, and the third. I'm a person who understands the concept of social media not being real. Like, yes, goals, this, that, and the third, blah, 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 right? But the minute y'all not together, where's that same love? Where's the same people that were supposed to be cheering us on in that person's DMs or my DMs? Like, yo, y'all got to work it out. Oh, y'all got to work it. Y'all got to make it through this, that, and the third, blah, blah, blah. It's not real. I don't... With people doing that, my nigga, get out of my (laughs) business. And I keep... And that's what oh, I love y'all together. Things of that nature. That's cool. That's cool and all, but it's not real, bro. It's not real. That's why. That's why. Um, I say this to everybody now. Like, if if I meet you at a certain stage in your life, mm-hmm. and you have a particular significant other, and you and that significant other no longer work out, I do not care to meet your new one. I do not care to get to know them in a certain light. It, it could be all copacetic. I could. I could. I could be respectful, and I can be. Uh, I can speak when spoken to. But mm-hmm. if I know, so for example, you and your lady, mm-hmm. cool, cool. But if you and her don't work out, I'm not interested. I'm not interested. I just, you, you grow to know somebody, you grow to be in their space, you grow to, you have a certain loyalty to them in some extent. And then, you know, y'all don't work out for whatever reason. You could, you could be at fault. You bring somebody else. My fault. <laughs> Hey, what's up? How you doing? I know for a fact I I probably am one and done with being a best man in somebody's wedding. Mm-hmm. 
because I don't care to be that close enough to know you and your significant other. So all of my boys who are in their relationships, I don't have that set, oh, that's my sister. Mm-hmm. I, if that's the case and y'all don't work out, Shorty will still be like a sister to me, mm-hmm. but... Out of respect for you, yeah, we, we be I ain't gonna be all of the. You know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna do that. That's just how I move. Like, I, I it bothers me to see that. You know what I'm saying? So at the same time, it's like, yeah, you get a new person. Cool. Hey, hey, Miss Peasley, how you doing? Hey, Rashawn, how you doing? Da 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 da. You know, ba ba ba. Why we don't? Nah, I'm nah. cool with that. Just out of respect. Nah, I'm cool. I feel nah, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't do that with friends and stuff like that. So that person, you could, you could, you could move on and meet the uh, the love I of mean, your life and things like that. Uh, more power to you. I just don't want any connection. I feel you. Though. I, can't, I can't be mad at you on that though. Yeah, because it, it becomes it becomes too much. Like every other month, you got in, like I don't facts. Even when I you was I mean, you I mean, was doing your six months thing, I, I barely wanted to. We we had code names for them. I didn't even know their real name. You just told people that. <laughs> my fault. My fault. <laughs> so yeah. Think of course, I forgot they were called Chinese food so weird. Chinese. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when when you was dealing with Chinese food, I did not. <laughs> yo, that shit was some crazy <laughs> shit. <laughs> Chinese food and empanadas. I was like, yo, bro, this nigga LA is a piece of I was, endeavors. An endeavor, yeah, for sure. Especially when you was dealing with endeavor. Like, I didn't I didn't care to get to know because I was like, Don don't keep a woman ha- like longer than longer than uh, a car insurance bill. I ain't, I ain't a lot, Jack. You know what I'm saying? I, I had my car insurance longer than you had women at one point. So, oh, now I sound like a hot potato. <laughs> <laughs> so, now I'm just saying. Tone so it it's, it's, it's kind of like it's kind of like that. So in my, it's, it's crazy because most of them, I've legit ended up ended on bad terms. A couple of them were still cool. They like were cordial. Do fucking text from here and here and here and then. Like everything good, cool, all right. It's no. Oh, how's your mom? Mm. How's your brother? Nigga, my brother doesn't. My brother doesn't fucking like any of you guys. Like Man, that. That see that. How's tough. LA? That LA doesn't like you either. <laughs> LA don't know your name. <laughs> and there's a, there's a few that people, women that I've dealt with that LA and Mills know, because I don't know. Like they shared some weird fucking memory with each other. Like niggas probably hung out. Oh, you said some funny shit one time. Oh, you're cool. You do cool shit. Other than that, it's like, all right, bro. Like respectfully, once I'm done with a person. I don't want to know about your existence anymore. I am that way too. So I, I legit don't want to. So he, here, here's here's how my post breakup works. We we I can literally tell a woman. <laughs> I can tell a woman. Listen, I don't think this is gonna work, right? Mm-hmm. But as soon as I get off the phone, getting on my knees, I'm praying for, her, right. I'll go. I'll, I'll, if What's I, up with this if, thing, nigga, bro? If 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 I really really care, I'll check her timeline, see how she doing. What's, what, how much time we on right now, bro? See, see if she see if she give off any vibes that she going through it. Most most of the women start smiling a little bit. Yeah, you heard. No 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 not at all not at all because oh, that hurts me. <laughs> most <laughs> most most of the women that I deal with they don't let they don't let uh. They don't do the the timeline thing to let people know that they're going through it. Okay. What? But when I do know something's wrong, is when I search the name and Twitter be like so and so doesn't exist. I'm like, oh no, she doing she. Oh no, she's off of social media. I, Cause I I I struggle, I struggle with knowing that I'm the cause of somebody's hurt. I don't I don't live that as crazy as it sounds. I don't live with that too well. Mm. That bothers Don. That shit make that shit eats me up to know that I am the bad guy in somebody's life. That that hurts. I ain't gonna lie. Sometimes I felt fucks with me. I felt like that when I got into a relationship. I didn't feel like that before. Mm. Like I knew I was a um in Endeavor's um Mm -hmm. story. I knew I was a villain. Even if she said what she did, what she did. Mm. Me knowing I'm the villain, like yo, bro. And then having that conversation with her, it was like, yo, bro, I was the villain. Like, I was the villain, but in my story, you were the villain. Mm. You did the fucking dumb yeah, shit. Yeah, but yeah, like in the bad guys episode, that you gotta you gotta be okay with that. But me, I'm not okay with that. I'm not I'm not gonna jack that. That's not my style. That's not my steez. It, it, 
It depends whose story it is. Oh well, it when it comes when it co- when it comes to the latter state, my earliest stages of dating, I don't care. The latter, I do. Maybe the last three. The last three, I do. I do because it's kind of like yo. As I got older, I loved different. Mm. So I loved more. I loved more emotionally than I did, and even even in my uh, my earlier d- days of dating, that was more. I thought I had to shower people with gifts, and my 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 love language. Not to bring that up, but my love language was different. Got has evolved since being an older man. Mm-hmm. So I'm more emotional and vulnerable. So it's kind of like I have like even though me and a person could only be together for like maybe 5 to 6 months or maybe a year and a half or 2 years or things of that nature. There is a bond that's way stronger than I ever had with that 5 year relationship because I'm a different person. Yeah. So to know that if I get brought up in conversation and she may say, "Yo, don't bring up, the, don't bring up that fuck nigga or fuck him or, or this that and third. It, it sucks that you see me in that way. And nine times out of ten, which is my fault, but she would talk to me in that light, not knowing that I still speak highly of her, you know, or I don't, I don't bring down her character in my eyes, you know what I'm saying? Or I don't bash her in a sense, or I still care in a sense. So it's kind of like, I'm not going to do that, you know what I'm saying? But to see, the, to know that part, that's difficult. I never thought, I never thought about that, though. Yeah. Because when, when niggas, like, <clears throat> when I'm having a conversation with my boys about an um, a old, a old young lady, like an old fling or whatever, I'll make, a, like, I'll make a joke about a memory we had, me and her had. Facts. And after that, it's like, all right, next, next subject, please. Yeah, I... Ch- I, 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 I I am a person who, who, since I haven't been in a solid relationship where I could say, where I could proudly boast that I have a girlfriend, I enjoy my memories with people better because I know my, my, my toxic uh, tendencies of leaving instead of sticking it out. So say me and a woman date and it's only been three months, right? But in those three months, we done did this, did that, did that, did that. I value that. You know what I'm saying? I value my memories with a person more than I do the actual person, which I am learning to change and get back to that. Eventually, I would love to be in a relationship and, and do that. But there, there, is certain, there are certain things that I need to let go of. So if I am dating and a woman feels like, yo, he's taking too long or why isn't he... Uh, the first circle, you just turn it once in the back, G. Mm-hmm. If if uh, I I do get to a, a point where mm-hmm. where I want to get there, and she's like, "Oh, you're, you're," I feel like he's taking too long, mm-hmm. right? Or why isn't he, why hasn't he gotten there yet? Mm-hmm. It's not you, sweetheart. It's the fact that I haven't I haven't let certain things go mm-hmm. to the point where. I want to take that leap of faith. Like, mm-hmm. I could, I could, I could want a woman so bad, but no. Like, I literally told a woman straight up, "Yo, I would love to be with you, but I can't take this jump." It's like a risk factor. It's a yeah, yeah. Man. And and I, I I'll say this in a future episode coming up, but I am the person I choose my breakups depending on how fast I think I'm gonna get over this person. What? So, if if I think her oh, and I, so we were such an overthinker, bro. If her and I, if her and I, if it's gonna take maybe four to five months to get over somebody, how long you think it's gonna take to to work something out? Because say something happens. Now let's say I I I hypothet- Let's let's do this. Let's do this, right? Let's say I cheat on a woman, mm-hmm. right? Let's say I cheat on a woman. She ain't make me happy. I stepped out on the relationship, right? But she takes me back, right? Mm-hmm. Cool. But in every argument, she's bringing up the infidelity. Mm-hmm. If I can guesstimate, right, that it may take her a full year to get over me cheating, mm-hmm. but it may take me five months to get over her, I'll leave her. Yeah, so you're giving, you're putting yourself through mad stress. Yeah. Yeah. So that's just a hypothetical because I've never mm-hmm. stepped outside of my relationship. Mm-hmm. So I could, I, could comfortably, I could comfortably say that example. So mm-hmm. if I know that she's going to always bring up that I cheated... It's so gonna, what's the she, point? She ain't letting this go, but she want to be with me. 
Nah, I'll dip because it'll, it'll hurt. It's gonna hurt you more to remind you that you fucked up. Honestly, to keep it a stack, Mm -hmm. to keep it a hundred, nobody gonna give me credit for this. But most of my breakups, I let the woman go because I know they're probably better off without me. They're not seeing that, Mm -hmm. but I'm doing you a favor. Mm -hmm. That's the way I look at it. I look at it like, yo, there's a certain expectation you're looking for. Mm -hmm. Now, you may want me to live up to this, Mm -hmm. but I know at this very moment, I can't do that. Okay. Right? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to let you go. Okay. Why the, let the cage bird sing? You know what I'm saying? I'm a, I'm going to let you out mm-hmm. and hopefully me letting you out allows the space for the right person to come in. But when he comes in, I don't want to see it. Turn my glasses on. <laughs> I, don't see, I don't want to see shit. Nah, see, I ain't on front. Yeah. Damn if you do, damn if you don't. Nah, cuz 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 and it, here's here's Another toxic trick of LaShawn, right? Mm. I am, I have, I haven't mm. done it in a while. I mm. haven't done it in a while. But I am the type mm. to want someone back mm. the minute I know she was with another nigga. What's up, big head? <laughs> <laughs> I, that, like, no, 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 no. That's, that, no, 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 no. This is my headache. I'd rather, be, <laughs> I'd rather be depressed with you than you happy with another nigga. So... Hey, See, with that, I psych myself out. I, oh, I don't do that no more. Now, that, I, I used to do that. I would set my, like, I'll stop dealing with the woman after the six months or whatever. Mm. She get back with somebody. She get with somebody. All right, cool. He not going to show the affection I showed you. Mm, mm. I'm going to talk your shit. <laughs> yeah, you got to talk your shit. I even, um, me and my man's had a conversation. We used to talk, he was talking about his, um, his ex. His um his ex's new new um significant other. Uh-huh. He was like, look at this nigga. This nigga's a fucking bozo. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm, like, I'm like, yo, bro, what's up? Like, he, he a nice guy. Huh? <laughs> he will treat her really well. <laughs> nigga said, yo, this nigga's a bozo. Well, I said, his fit is bad. <laughs> like, yo, bro. Like, why you why are you wild nigga on him? Dirty like, I'm like, why are you wild on him like that? Nigga hurt. Nigga said, nah, son, like, that's my shorty, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, ah, man. See, here's the but, thing about the male, the mm-hmm. male ego, right? We, the the reason why normally mm-hmm. women break up better than men mm-hmm. is because of the sole fact that we try to move on first, mm-hmm. and then life hits us. Mm-hmm. Women will take the decency uh, to assess themselves, get through their feelings, vent heal, it all, vent it all out, vent, find somebody, and then start dating. That is why. Most times, it's harder to get her back because she didn't already got over you, moved on. She didn't had conversations with God. God done said move on from him. So she's following into the Lord's footsteps. You don't got a chance. Us men, we wanna we wanna replace her. We wanna fill voids. We we looking to do anything that will take our mind off of her mm-hmm. and then realize, yo, she means a little bit more than I thought, and then be like, yo, let me make it back. But by the time you get back, she already done. That's why I don't do the whole do the whole um Double backing because she probably she look she took the time to get over whatever I did right. Mm. So if that is the case, then who am I to interrupt that? I'm not mm. that sick of a nigga, you know what I'm saying? I just don't. That's not my body. That's not my speed. That's not my energy. I don't. I don't move like that. So I literally, I literally would like fall back or I charge it to the game. Like perfect example. This is how I know when 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 the, it depends on the woman I date. Mm-hmm. I I I I know her like the women that I usually deal with. Mm-hmm. I know them like the back mm-hmm. of my hand. Mm-hmm. So I know certain verbiage, mm-hmm. certain attitudes, certain energies, certain mm-hmm. words mm-hmm. to let. I know when they single, mm-hmm. and I know when they dealing with somebody. Mm-hmm. There's certain context <laughs> clues a woman would give off. I just don't want some shit. So, so when I see one of those clues, I'm like, nah, it's too late. That that that's how I know when I'm when I'm Gucci. Nah, I just thought about this shit. Like when I stopped dealing with um, empanada, mama. <laughs> <laughs> like it's been like a couple weeks or like a month. I seen a tweet. It's, she said, "Oh, my man's skin glowing today." <laughs> I, I looked at the moment like this is 
when I was I just after I finished doing well. Go on my IG, I was like, yo, we're not posting selfies. <laughs> 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 they looked at her Twitter again. I was like, "Oh, this fucking bitch, <laughs> <laughs> bro!" And at that at that moment, I wasn't talking to nobody. Yeah, like, I was just like, "Let's be friends." I just wanted to be friends. I don't want to talk to nobody right yeah, now. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then seeing that, I was like, "All right, this shit sting a little." It didn't really. Yo, stick. you know what's crazy? I'll tell you how sick in the head I am. Right. I'll keep looking until it stings me hard enough, and I'll stop. So I. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, sit up. So I'll look. I'm I'll over. Look. I'll look. I'll look. I'll look. I'll see a butterfly tweet. I'm like, oh shit, she got a new nigga. Fuck it. I I bet. Cool. Then she'll be like, um, then she'll be like, uh, let's say, let's say, uh, I love dates that last all day. Mm-hmm. I I bet. I bet. She she her, her Sundays are occupied. All right, mm-hmm. cool, 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 cool. <laughs> and then and then and then um, you know the ones that hurt? Not the tweets, mm-hmm. the retweet. So say a tweet go viral, man. I love the when the dick go in my belly and she retweets. <laughs> <laughs> that shit is sick, man. <laughs> Bitch, how? <laughs> I mean, like, that is that is the final cue to be like, I right, bet, block and delete. <laughs> no more looking, bro. No more looking. Oh, even man. even even boom. Perfect example, right? You gonna laugh at this? Mm. I've never said this to any of y'all before, right? Stush. Mm-hmm. We all know Stush. Mm-hmm. We all seen Stush operate in social mm-hmm. settings. Mm-hmm. Tell me why Stush goes to Shemansky. Mm-hmm. At this time, Skrill's got Shemansky on lock. Mm-hmm. At this time, up. we're we're at we're at Shemansky mm-hmm. so frequently that niggas know us by first name basis. Mm-hmm. We on the guest list, this, that, and the third. Mm-hmm. Shorty goes to Shemansky, and I guess it was one of those reggae nights or whatever, mm-hmm. and she danced with a man, mm-hmm. right? I wake up, I get three or four messages from somebody like, yo, still shit here, wilding the fuck out. I said, all right. I said, Lord, give me the strength to look at this video. Because I know what the fuck is about to happen, bro. All I hear is, oh no, I see her dancing. Cool. It's not the dancing that bothered me. It's empanada in the background. Yes, bitch. Yeah, bitch. <laughs> fuck these niggas. <laughs> I was just going to do something about it. It's, it's, and then, and then I got a, I got a couple of mutual friends that was following both of them. That whole night, niggas sent me the the hug. No, why huh, niggas don't talk huh, to me like that? Huh, ho- I had to tell my man, yo, bro, <laughs> you said, thought you thought this was beneficial for my mental health, bro. <laughs> niggas sent me the whole the whole night's recap, bro. Yo, from start to they taking shots, they licking shots off each other. I'm like, oh, oh, you not this not even you. So I say, yo, at that point in time, she gone forever. <laughs> She she go, oh, she, go she go she forever. She go forever. The, when the good girl I'm about to play that song. <laughs> when the good girl go oh, forever, man. just just it, it is what it is, bro. She go forever. But that's 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 a harsh reality for yeah. most men to realize they had a good woman and they let her go. Cause I keep it a stack with you. I don't think I've ever encountered those type of women where I don't care that they are not gone. I have to stop playing. With my blessings when it comes to women, mm-hmm. because I am honestly losing good women in my life because the way I choose to handle things mm-hmm. is not healthy. And that's why, like people looking at me like, "Yo, damn, Don, like you a fa-. like my nigga, you got shit. Like you said, the fucking oh nigga has notifications out. I'm, I'm, I, I, I can't do that shit with her, bro. Yeah. I can't. Yeah, let her slip out my hands, bro. Like mm. doing all that dumb shit, bro. Mm. I, I can't do that yeah, shit to yeah, myself, yeah. bro. Like me beating, being in these streets looking. Oh, yo, where the hoes at? Where the bitches at? Bro, I'm not doing that shit no more, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't yeah. got time for that shit, bro. Niggas trying to build a fucking empire, bro. Yeah, yeah. We yeah. trying to build something, my nigga. How you gonna build something without a whole team, bro? You gotta have somebody by your side, bro. See, here's see here, but here's 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 where I can hear that. Mm-hmm. And to you telling me that, that sounds good, right? Mm-hmm. Because I'm the person if if I have somebody on my team, and it's not just romantically, mm-hmm. if I have somebody in my team and something goes to fault, yeah, people make mistakes, but the first thing I'm going to do is how do I do this on my own? 
and I gotta stop. I feel, I feel, I feel, I hear you now. I gotta stop moving like that. But at the same in time, certain, certain, this is certain. all I know. Like I, 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 I move like I have a little sister, but I move like I'm an only child. If something, if I can't figure it out, I'm going to bust my head to figure it out because I'm so used to like. Well, what if this person don't fuck with me no more? What if this person, you know, choose to leave? I that unfortunately. That five-year relationship has, looking back at it in my older life, I can see the the bits of pieces where it has uh, put a negative effect on how I move. So it wasn't one of those instant impactful pains where you you feel it right away. It was something where you don't notice it until it, it occurs. So I got used to being with a woman every day for five years. So that's 365 times five, whatever that math is. That is the person who I talked to, slept with, did everything with it. Then I had to get used to life without her. With that, I had the mindset of what? That was nothing is permanent. People aren't permanent. Shit, you could think shit is going to go great and you'll lose it. So how do I prevent this from happening? All right. Don't get too attached. Know when to go. When the feds come to raid the spot, don't take anything, just go. Mm -hmm. So that mentality has cost me to lose certain people because when when shit goes wrong, my first instinct is to I flee and leave the scene or figure out how you do this shit on your own. I've already taught myself how to move without a person. So yeah, if I have a person, cool. But if shit, if they leave or if it don't work out, cool. But in all actuality, it's not cool. Cause I be, I be going through it. My Drake playlist is impeccable. Yeah, you've been wild with the course, so you ain't saying anything. Facts. So, but no, 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 no. I'm enjoying his music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nigga, I'm just gonna go and drive and listen, listen to this whole place. No, 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 no. That's different. If I'm if I'm listening to the ordinary love shit, I'm going through the motions or something. I'm listening to I'm just listening to Tuscan Leather. Just keep driving. Yeah, facts. I can, I can, I can, I can, I can enjoy like when I pick up Tyler. All we do is play Drake. So it's it's one of those moments where Drake shout out to Max, shout out to Max, Drake used to Drake used to be that for me. Now I can thoroughly enjoy his music, especially when you are an R and B lover. You could play an R and B song and somebody thinks something's wrong with you because how they relate to that song or that music or the feeling. I just want to listen to Summer Rains. I just want to listen to something. You know what I'm saying? So that doesn't necessarily mean that I'm going through something, but but in all actuality, I have to stop because. Lord knows what if the last two women that I've encountered in my life. God wanted you to have. Right. What if he says, yo, listen, my brother. But, but you, I done gave you too many. In the same breath, though, he made you the way you are for a reason, though. Yeah, for sure. Just and, to share and, on this platform and, and, <laughs> and then cry myself to sleep. And, then, and that's why he put a man in your, in your arm. And that's, a, and, then, and that's another thing. When, when I, um, I have to, I'm going to be honest. Like, when I go through my breakups, I'm now going to learn how to deal with them internally and not speak on them here because it kind of, it's unfair to them in a sense because they don't have a platform. Mm -hmm. So, And that's another thing too. So I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't want to do that anymore. I may speak on certain, certain instances, but to, to fully out, you know, in a sense to them, I may be venting because this is my art and this is how I express myself. Shit, this is how the show was damn near created. But at the same time, I don't want to make any of them feel like I'm gunning for them. Even though it's on my on my it's part, just, it's just vent, I'm just it's venting. venting. Yeah. And even with that, um, you saying that um, this young lady I used to deal with before, I saw her the other day and she told me, it was like, oh yeah, um, I'm, you did that episode and I felt like you made me, t you made me feel like a villain. Like Now I feel like a bad guy and I didn't, I didn't know what to do with myself. And even mm. hearing you say that, like, I'm going to tone back a little bit. Not too much, though. Yeah, you just got free. Just to make people, like, understand, like, I'm not yeah, trying yeah, to... Yeah. I'm not trying to assassinate you. But yeah, I'm, I'm not gunning telling, for you. I'm, I'm just, just telling my side of the story. Like, I know but, then at the, but then, what one of them has actually said to me before, I don't have a platform to say my side. So, to be honest with you, you got to shout out to the to the women who who, who hold in oh, their yeah. side just so they don't make you look bad. Mm. In a sense, so I I can be honestly I can honestly say like yo I appreciate that it was never vindictive on that in that style they may have done some vindictive shit, 
but not in that fashion. You know what I'm saying? And I don't have uh, public relationships because I don't need Llama calling anybody talking about yo pull up to shit. <laughs> Sick of Shout out to my nigga Lava though That's the guy asshole. That's my guy But um Yeah man it's Another day What's a good guy boss Facts man Shout out to my man G back there Holding it down man Shout out to all the black creators In the uh, in the building mm. Shout out to um, Visionary Society Facts bro Shout out to Mercy Shout out to um, MA Club Mm-hmm. Shout out to Ted Rockin Doing their thing Shout out to What's a Good Guy Shout out to Don Peasley Shout out to Don the Camera Guy Shout out to LA Shout out to Productions With LA motherfuckers what do you call it? It's State Focus State Productions. Focus. Yeah. No, I'm just saying, you know. Yeah. So, yeah, shout out to I'm that. Waiting for, I'm waiting for that. I'm waiting for that, that visual. Shit. I got I to gotta get somebody to do it. In due time, we're going we gonna, we gonna to find somebody that, that's going to get the vision out there. Um, shout out to Joe. You're bullshitting sometimes. Bro. Shout out to Cole Joe. Yeah, shout, and shout out to Rain, shout too. Shout out to Rain, as well. Function merch. Get your um, function merch. Who else is out here doing a de- thug dizzle? Um, shout out to, to all shout the to, shout out to my nigga um Fly Cash um state um status symbol NYC. Shout out to uh and shout out to all the black women that's out there doing their thing. Not bro. facts, facts. A lot of um black um entrepreneurs out there. Shout out to um women are hey, really, honey lips. Shout out shit. to uh, facts. Shout out to a lot of people doing shout shit. Shout out to the women out there doing their thing. Shout man. out to my good sister Edie. Shout out to Aja. Edie with her um coding. Aja shout with to Black all... Artist Cafe. Listen. Bonus and Durax. I could do this all day. Shout out to the uh my prayers go out to the men who they girl moved on a little faster than they did. Because we be, we be, listen. Yeah. I know we jacked that, yo. We strong, man. That shit be yeah, hurt. Yeah, until, you see a, until you see a girl in Atlanta with a nigga with a rolly and a fucking wraith. <laughs> and it's a, fucking, it's a heartbreak at that point, bro. <laughs> nah, you know, I don't want to say no names, bro. But uh, how can I say this? You're Jamaican brethren, mm-hmm. right? The way he posts his girl, like she be sitting on his lap. Yeah. <laughs> you don't ever see her face. Damn, you barely see his face. Mm-hmm. But when you when you when you on the other side, like I can't imagine, like, I see one of my exes post some shit like that. Bitch, you on another nigga lap. She used to sit on my shit just <laughs> like <laughs> Yo, you know what song you never want to listen to oh. post breakup? Used to be my girl by Brian McKnight. Nah, I'm good. That shit will have you. Fucking. Fuck I want. I want to play this song, but I don't want niggas to cut this shit. You think they going? They going? They going to clip it? Definitely on YouTube. Oh. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm. I be playing Ian Mon. Yeah. Fuck what I said. It don't mean shit now. Fuck the presents. I ain't gonna front, bro. That's my shit right there, bro. That shit. That shit. That, that shit. That and then Chris Brown. Say goodbye. Oh no. I'm talking about the. The real soulful R and B, nah, bro. I'm good. I'm good off that, boy. I'm good off that. That shit'll make you cry, man. You ever seen a grown man cry? Let him realize he lost the love of his life. But me, I I, I don't plan on going no through no more post breakups, yeah, bro. I'm, I'm good. Like I'm good. I, I, I'm good. I, I, I had my last ones before. I'm good. But you already know what it is, man. It's Don the Camera Guy, also known as Don Peasley. You can follow me on all social platforms. Oh yeah, you can follow me at Stay Focus LA on Instagram and Twitter. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to all things. What's a good guy? What's a good guy? dot com is now live and active. Eight a.m. Eight a.m. Remember o- that. And uh, and on all streaming platforms at eight p.m. Today on my OnlyFans, we would. Uh, I am having sex with one of my exes. Uh, it's called the uh, the last kiss goodbye, and those be hard, bro. Let me tell you, yo. <laughs> one last story before we get out of here, right? There was one ex. That um, in the midst of us talking, she would share all her, all her past experiences, mm-hmm. right? And she told me once that she knows when she's done with a guy, when she asks for it one last time, and she's done. I feel like that's somebody seven, seven, seven. Right? What am I saying? I ain't never get that call. <laughs> so you know how bad she was hate me that she don't want it. <laughs> Like, I was like, yo, any day, any, any day, any now. day. <laughs> nigga said, damn, nigga, damn, son. you don't want no peen. What's up? Like, what? Man, she, she, she lucky though. Because I saw the throat. <laughs> nigga saw the pop the blue pill. Got to, got to work. <laughs> that was so long ago, bro. <clears throat> I don't. I don't went into one of them fucking uh, BPs. Get one of them right old pills, 
Oh, you gonna re- you gonna remember this? Bro. <laughs> if I got one last shit, <laughs> <laughs> said, what's the other shit? Uh, I forgot. I forgot the shit called, bro. I think it's a horny goat. Or whatever. Fuck some, this shit. Whatever the Billy goats or the horny you know, horny rider. Nigga, I was gonna pop. Nigga, I was gonna turn red. I'd have pop two of them shits. <laughs> nigga, try to get a cardiac infarction. <laughs> Oh shit, son! Yeah, but um, y'all, y'all gotta follow my OnlyFans, man. I'm calling the step back. You heard? Mm. Yeah. Like so, me, so with, with that being said, man, uh, if you're going through your post breakup, man, I hope this episode helps. I hope you laugh. Something. You did something. Yeah, oh. fact. And that's another doing? thing that uh, I think men should do mm-hmm. is you want to be around certain energies mm-hmm. that's gonna lift I've, you I've up because because them 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 nights get tough. Mm-hmm. So you don't want to spend your whole 16 hours, 15 hours just down and out. You want to be around people who understand you, that can boost you up. So when you are alone for them seven, six hours, it's not, it's the, the days aren't long and the nights aren't longer. So be around people that love you and be around, for the men, be around real men who's not going to tell you, yo, fuck her. Blah. Get some hoes. You know what I'm saying? Even, even if she is the one in the wrong. Don't you don't want to be around people who's gonna be like yo f her this yeah, that and the third because no, honestly be hurting, exactly it does nothing for you. You want to be around people who understand that you're going through understand, and give you different words of affirmation to boost you up. Those are the people that you need to be around. Oh man, that's a good word. And guess what, guys? It's another episode. Till next time, stay frosty, beloved. Gang, God is good.